Welcome to Stringy Bark Creek Campsite. So this is not far from Stringy Bark Creek itself, which is uh, the point of shooting from Ned Kelly for the policeman back in the day. Hope that makes sense. We have a little uh, visitor today. So, Mr. Kookaburra is just sitting here. Hey, he doesn't mind. I can get real close to him. A meter away right now. So he's chilling at the campsite here with us. Very tame. And this is the campsite. Couldn't get a fire going last night. Too, everything was too wet. So just packing down. So where we are situated, we have toilets. So if you prefer a toilet situation. Um, I'll show the ones we're near. There's a few people here, or well, a couple now. The one of us rocked up late last night and set up. So, this is toilet block here, male and female, unisex toilet block. Really big campground. The campsites up in here. And now I'll take you to the Kelly tree and I'll uh, show you where the policeman was shot. And then we'll come back over to this area to my left over here. Um, has all the history and all the police officers. Um, yeah, let's go. That's a little bit of a hike. Not much though, just a little bit. Now, I believe you can access this from the uh, Stringy Bark Creek Campground too, on foot. You don't have to drive around here. But we are heading into town, back to Mansfield. Uh, Pete's got to pick up some uh, chainsaw chains. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. Right, just down here is where it all went down. I'm not sure it was just one officer or three here we shot here, but we'll uh, check it out. Have a read. So once this went down. A uh, monument was built in Mansfield, which is still there to this day. So if you go to Mansfield and you see this on the roundabout, I'll show you. So, it's a bit of history. So this monument here is in the roundabout in Mansfield near the courthouse. That was erected in memory of the police officers killed here. So, of course the police tree, this one. So, um, Two trees scarred by bullets became recognised as local landmarks. One tree was located at the police camp where the other two were murdered. Okay, so one officer was murdered here. The second tree stood a quarter of a mile away to the northwest on site. Uh, where Kennedy was killed, it was inscribed with a cross and the letter K. The Kennedy tree survived until the 1920s before it was harvested. The tree at the police camp was felled in 1908. That, this left only the tree stump behind to mark the location. So, when Euros were built in the 1920s, it became much easier travelers to visit Stringy Bark Creek. And the property owner placed a fingerboard marker on a ring bark dead gum tree close to the bottom of some of the original mark tree. Blah, blah, blah. In the 30s, got attacked by termites. In the 80s, a steel clerk intended to be representative of Ned Kelly's helmet was affixed over the top of the remaining visible name. Dave Constable Lon Lonergan, the clerk covered Lonergan's name and omitted the names of other policemen. So, now. That is in here. So obviously people have been inscribing stuff on this tree, which I shouldn't be, but big massive tree up there. And in here is a helmet that covers the name of the police officers, I believe, in here. 
So, and it's just indicative of Ned Kelly's helmet. So that's the uh, that's the police tree or the Kelly tree, really like everyone likes to call it. And I'll go back and uh, read about the police officers. All right, so this is Constable Thomas Lonigan. Um, bit of information on him. He was the one that was killed here. Uh, shot by Kelly was on duty in the company of Sergeant Kennedy and Constable Scanlon. So, bit of information on him down here. Again, feel free to pause. I'll hold this over here so you can get a bit of a read. And it's a family statement and stuff like that. So that was him. Constable Scanlon with an epic beard. Again, he was a uh, Executed at the police camp, I believe, this one. And feel free to pause all of that one. And then Constable Kennedy. Or Sergeant Kennedy, sorry. Sergeant Michael Kennedy. A bit closer for a read if you like. Right. Check out some of these other boards. So we'll start around here. This one first. All right, we're going in a clockwise direction. Yes. <laughs> so, this is Ned Kelly and Dan Kelly, the brothers. Of course, someone scratched their faces. You must not like them. Just a bit of information on that one. Again, this is like the main board. This is the story of what happened, pretty much. So, and that's Kennedy's team. Constable McIntyre, Lonigan, and Scanlon. So, more of a story here. What happened on a day? That's pretty brutal. Shot through the right eye by Ned Kelly. Ouch. So the evening.
So that's when the rest of them are murdered. That's when McIntyre escaped into the bush at 5.40 p.m. This one here is uh, about getting back to Mansfield and getting another search party out. Took the bodies back by pack horse. Kennedy's body, quarter of a mile away, on Thursday, 31st, so 26th to the 31st, that's when they bring a felon's apprehension act just one day after Sergeant Kennedy's body was found. Provided the accused to declare outlaws in the event they did not make a timely surrender. So, if you didn't surrender, you were then deemed an outlaw. 12th of November, they were told to come in. None of the gang gave themselves up. They were classed as outlaws then. So, these moments to hunt for the first and only person ever to be declared of outlaws in Victoria moved on to other locales across the northeastern district in the wake. Wait, Sergeant Kennedy comes willing to give her to pick through the debris of the shattered lives. Blah, blah. So, pretty sad. Pretty sad, but they got the uh, outlaw. Yeah. That outlaw act is interesting. Well, it's history. Yeah, it's definitely history. The damage of wombats do. Yeah, well, rip stuff up everywhere. Yeah, yeah. We're in the yeah. wombat ranges. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> assuming there'll be wombats. <laughs> haven't, you said you saw one the other day, but I haven't. So. Yeah. So you can do a bit of a walk. Not that I'm gonna do it. But Death of Sergeant Kennedy is across the road. That's not far. Kelly Camp's here. Sorry, I'm not even looking at this properly. The rival police party sign was there and then the police Kelly tree. So you can do a, do a bit of a loop around. Okay, that's interesting. Someone with a bit more um, get up and go. Yeah, <laughs> not me this morning. So it's a bit more uh, history. So on that the course that so re exit. it. So yeah, if you're interested, it's worth checking out. And then maybe go see the other spots. So this is the only place I've been, but yeah, I could go across the road and up there. And wouldn't be all that far, but um, yeah, just a little bit of history. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to come check this place out and give you an idea on how to get here. It's not hard. And uh, yeah, have a good one guys and I'll catch you in the next one.